All right, so listen. I recorded myself making this rant back in December when Final Fantasy XV first came out, like about a week after it came out. And I know a lot of people have made videos on it, rants, reviews, and whatever about the story and whatever, whatever the fuck, all right? I know I'm beating a dead horse, right? But I don't give a shit. I wanted to make this video today. I don't know why. I don't know why two months later, but I just did, okay? So hand me a bat, a chainsaw, whatever you want, because I'm about to beat this horse raw. Enjoy. What day is it? Today is Monday. Monday, December 12th. Today was the day I beat Final Fantasy XV. And I'm so fucking disappointed because this game is so generic. Right, give it all you got, fellas. Ready? The story is so fucking generic so i already told this to my girlfriend who is currently on the call and i'm just going to repeat what i said to you guys at home because this fucking game infuriates me because it's it 10 years it was in it was in development for 10 years and when i first saw the trailers that this is going to be the game this is going to be the final fantasy game that was going to be different it was going to be darker gothic edgier like you know like grittier bloodier it was supposed to be darker it was just gonna be like this this very thematically horrifying it, it was gonna be this 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 otherworldly final fantasy game because it was gonna be like it was gonna be like no other final fantasy game before because all other final fantasy games have been very generic like most of the final fantasy 7 final fantasy 6 have been they're okay they're good with their stories but every other one is like the warrior of light has to defeat the big empire <sighs> and that's exactly what happens with this fucking game it is the same fucking generic shit that we've seen before it's 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 the war they call <laughs> noctis the warrior of light he is the the light bringer and he's up against the bad guys the bad guys being the darkness they literally call him the darkness and in the game the characters make fun of that even they say that it's the it oh it's the darkness that's a pretty vague name it's like they're making fun of themselves like they know that this story is shit it's just so generic it is the same thing i'm so fucking sick of that shit the, yeah. And I, I get where they're trying to go with this. I, I get where they're trying to... Like, I can see how, how it was supposed to be this depressing... That's Discord. I see. I can see how this was supposed to be a very depressing story. Like, Luna... This, this is going to be spoilers, by the way. Noctis' girlfriend, Luna. Luna Freya. This girl that he's written letters to for 10 years. For 10 fucking years, he hasn't met her, he hasn't heard her voice in 10 years. They're finally getting married. The the girl of his dreams, they're finally getting married. And then they meet each other 10 years later. And the moment he meets her, she's dead. They never even touched each other. They haven't touched each other's skin. And the only moment they get to touch each other is when Luna is trying to heal Noctis, who's fainted. So only she gets to experience touch with him. And that's depressing that he doesn't even get to feel her skin. And she's fucking dead under the ocean. Like, that's fucked up. But it doesn't matter because at it, they just go through it and they just they, they don't care and that's the whole story that's the whole thing about this game everybody just doesn't care one of Noctis's friends goes blind but it doesn't matter because all this is how it was delivered oh your, your girlfriend is she's dead I'm sorry Noctis by the way I'm blind like it doesn't affect the story that much like Noctis feels a little bad about it but for the rest of the story it doesn't matter 
because it, it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't fucking matter. The, one of his friends turns out to be this evil clone. This clone of, like, the Empire that they're trying to stop. And he confronts them about it. He's like, yo, I'm a clone, by the way. Shocking, right? And they're like, nah, you know what? That's that's fine. That's whatever. It's like, you gotta fucking ask some questions. This dude is your fucking friend since you were a kid. And he's telling you this important changed this life-changing event he's your fucking friend and he's a clone of the empire he's this evil thing you've been fighting people like him your this entire game and you're gonna be like oh this whatever it doesn't matter he's like just get the fuck out what the fuck ask some questions he's, he's, he's this dude he's this dude you've known your entire life and, and, and I hate, I hate his friends. His friends are generic. The Ignis is a dude who speaks with the British. I'm the, I'm the British intellect. His big ass, this big ass guy with abs. He's like, oh, I'm big tough guy. And then there's happy go lucky guy who has the most emotions out of everyone else because he actually has a backstory. And I don't know who these guys are. And they have this audacity. They have the audacity at the final level of the game so you know honey i showed you the trailer right where they have the 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 very first trailer uh 10 years ago where they showed this beautiful song this beautiful opera song that was in latin and it was so wonderful right and they finally they never showed it throughout the entire game they never they had it was a remixed version with like violins instead of vocals but they finally had it the final level of the game but they have the audacity to show it at the final level of the game where in a place where I don't even care. They have it in this place called Insomnia, which is your hometown. And in your hometown, they're 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 talking about like, oh, remember when you used to work here? Or hey, remember how there were so many people here? And it was a destroyed, desolate town that was empty now. And it's supposed to be sad. Oh na 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 you know with the song playing in the background I'm like I don't care I never been to this town before why would I care I've never like it would have been nice to have a prologue where like it showed oh and, and it, it would have been nice to have a prologue that showed all this this bustling city this this uh, happy people this you make a few friends you do a few quests here and you you know It's a nice awesome town that you actually like in the very beginning of the game And then you leave and then you kind of miss going back because in the middle in the very first chapter You find out not only your dad is dead But your fucking city your empire has fallen and you miss that city You would have missed it if you had like one chapter in the game focusing on just being in the city But no instead we leave the city immediately and we come back to the in the last chapter of the game and everybody's like oh man it's so sad how it's so empty now it's like i don't i don't even know how it was before this is my first time here dudes i don't care emotionally and you're like it's so sad it's so fucking sad and i don't care about these characters it would have been nice the very like i mentioned the very first chapter should have focused on just being in this city but and, and it would have been cool too because that first chapter could have introduced you to these three characters that we don't know because this game starts off like you know these characters like am i supposed to watch the game like, was, was i supposed to watch the movie king's Clive? was i supposed to watch the anime to know who these care i don't i'm not gonna i don't fucking care about the anime i don't care about the movie give me the entire story as it is right now and there are so many questions that have been answered I'll admit there aren't many loose strings. They're okay. There are loose strings. They're loose like a fucking clown's pocket, but they're they're They were answered lazily Like who is the darkness? I'm the darkness. I'm big evil man. Who is the darkness, right? And But okay, you answered that question, but why is he the darkness? Where did he come from? Why is he an immortal? Why is he my great-great-grandfather in the story spoilers? right how how did this come to be well we don't know he's, he's the darkness though that answers that and i am I'm, I'm especially pissed off at this game because like i said when i was younger when i was a teenager in my angsty angsty years i was like oh this is gonna be a really gritty bloody game yeah it's gonna be so full of angst and you know i was a teenager so i i expected like emo gothic things because that's what i was into when i was a teenager but at the same time 
even as an adult, I'm thinking, dude, this would have been really cool if the aesthetics were gothic. These characters are dressed up like they came out of a fucking funeral. And it makes sense because the main character's dad is dead. His girlfriend is dead. His empire is shit. And he has to be king. He's never been a king. He's like 18 or 20. He's, he's, he's young as fuck. And now suddenly people are looking. It's a lot of fucking pressure. But it's never explained. Instead, he's fishing. He's fucking fishing in the entire game. He's fishing, he's digging, he's doing chocobo shit. It's like, it's never explored. This is supposed to be a dark game. Like, all the all the bullet points are there. Tragic story. The fact that he has to die. He has to die to save the world. It's not even like an option. He has to fucking die. But it doesn't matter because it was done so lazily. Like, these, it was supposed to be this dark, dark game, but it's not, like, I, I told you, my girlfriend, I told my girlfriend that it would have been, like, when I first saw the trailers, I imagined this Romeo and juliet s story, because there are these trailers where Noctis and this unknown girl, who I guess was Luna at one point, they both look at each other like they love each other, but then in a later trailer, they fight each other, they look like they fucking hate each other and throughout the entire game i was thinking to myself oh oh uh, when is luna gonna turn out to be the bad guy and she doesn't because she dies and it turns out it's just a mopey dopey same shit oh it's, it's my girlfriend i gotta marry her oh and i gotta stop the big empire the big evil empire that wants to conquer the world because that's not generic like I, I i i thought this game was gonna be like noctis he's gonna go He's gonna, he's gonna find out his dad is dead. He's gonna find out his girlfriend's dead. He's, his, his empire's gone. The, the evil empire stole everything from him. Everything. And he's pissed. And now he's gonna get his fucking revenge. He's gonna kill that empire. He's gonna kill the empire's family, his mama, his daddy. He's gonna kill everyone in the empire. And he's gonna do it so fucking well that he starts conquering the world. And he becomes an evil empire. And that would have been way cooler and that's where I thought this was going that would have been tragic that would have been dark imagine him cutting off the head of the evil empire's king while he's begging for his life please knock this don't cut my head off I was just foolish I, I just wanted power my kingdom does not have magic that's the story Babs sweetie that's the story this game is about like there are six kingdoms and five of them have magic and one of the kingdoms is, is, is jealous because it doesn't have magic so instead they discover technology and they start conquering the world and it would have been a twist if like the emperor was like i was just jealous because my kingdom doesn't have magic the gods never blessed me ifrit is a god that hates people he hates me so he never wanted to give me magic and I'm begging you, Noctis, I just wanted power, the power that you guys had. I was abandoned, and I wanted to show you how powerful I could be even without magic. And Noctis just fucking kills him, because you killed my dad, you killed my girlfriend, you took over my fucking empire, and now I'm going to kill you because I'm as savage as you can be. And that would have been cool. And that would have been so yeah. cool. But no, it's generic. You are the light warrior. You have to defeat the darkness. That evil, generic darkness. The only good thing I could say about the story is that the evil guy, the main bad guy, the chancellor, he's pretty fucking cool. Like, he he talks so charismatically. So, his voice actor is amazing. His lines, his dialogue, he was written like a juicy, beefy steak. He's so full of himself, but he's so deliciously evil. But when it came to everyone else, Noctis is boring. He doesn't care. He always whines. Oh, I don't want to go on an adventure. Oh, I feel so sticky and gross. Oh, I hate bugs. Oh, I don't want to be the king. And, and, and Gladios, he, the big guy, he's like, oh, I'm a big guy. And Ignis is, I'm British. And, and like, I, I kind of like Prompto because he actually has emotions. I, I, I already mentioned all of this, but I'm telling you again, 
these characters are just generic Final Fantasy characters, and I know I'm gonna be crucified when I say this, but Final Fantasy 15, in terms of story, is no better than Final Fantasy 13, a game that was criticized as being one of the worst Final Fantasy games ever, and granted the combat and the graphics are so beautiful, the combat is so fun, but the story is the same fucking shit! I thought we were gonna get something different! But it's the same shit! Why? Why? When did it change? When did it change? I thought it was gonna be something else. But it wasn't. And it's the same shit we get over and over and over again. It's the same shit. Why, why wasn't it darker? Why couldn't I explore the city? It looked like they, they are dressed like they're coming out of a funeral. And that's the point. That was the theme. That was the theme of this game. It's supposed to be about death. It's supposed to be about responsibilities. It's supposed to be about depressing shit. It's supposed to be about you carrying on. That's what, it, oh my God, that is such a beautiful theme. You're wearing the suit you wore at your blank's funeral. In this game, your father's funeral, right? It, I mean, that's not what happens, but you're wearing the suit from your father's funeral and you keep wearing it because you have to move forward. That's what it's supposed to mean, but that's not what it means. It means you have to fish. It means you have to fight. It means you have to go through endless dungeons. It means you have to go chocobo riding. It's like, it's, But that's not what it means. It's... <sighs> it's just the same shit. It's the same thing. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't... Like, I haven't seen any reviews on this game. Right? Because I wanted my mind to be fresh. Whenever I see a review, whenever I see some uh, some other person's opinions, I'm like, oh yeah, that's true. I never thought of that. I wanted my mind to be untainted. Granted, it would be, I would, if somebody made a, a good argument about like, oh, well, it was like this because blank, blank, blank. I would be like, oh, okay, I understand. But right now I am infuriated and I wanted to just voice out my opinions while they're still raw. So... I mean, that's, that's everything I think I need to say. Yeah. There's like, there's like, there's a bunch of other characters in the story and they just get killed off. And it's like, why did you even show me these characters? Shut the fuck up. Why did you even show me these characters? It's like, <sighs> this game, the story is, is just bad. It's a generic Final Fantasy story. That's that's all it is. But the gameplay is good. 